Hey, welcome back. It's Adrian the Mountain Man. Uh, today I'm going to do a comparison uh, and a review of um, three different uh, shorts that I wear for my ultra training and just like running in general, but mostly for ultra training with these shorts in, in particular. Uh, all three pair have um, uh, stash pockets uh, for like gels and water bottles and um, uh, one pair has a, a, a loops in the back for poles and then um, another pair has a, a longer, a bigger pocket on the actual, um, I was going to say sleeve, but like the leg of the short where you can put your phone um, and it's big enough. I have a uh, iPhone 12 uh, plus max, whatever it's called, the big one, <laughs> and it fits in there no problem. Um, so basically it's going to be, I wanted to go over the T8 shorts that um that i've been running in and i really love uh, i think i've mentioned before on the channel that i <sighs> i sweat a lot i really don't like running in the heat um and i live in uh, central north carolina and sorry i have a cold and i um it's really humid here and most shorts and just clothes in general even if you're walking into work that you just they get sweat sweaty and they stick to you and I can't stand that feeling, um, especially if you, <laughs> luckily for the last couple of years I've been working from home, but uh, just going into work and then just being like sweaty, like and then walking to the gym and walking back and just, just feeling wet like all day. Um, even if you change your clothes at the gym, but I, uh, where I work and where my gym was, uh, I work at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and it was about a mile walk. So even if I shower at the gym, walk back, it, I'm, I'm sweaty again and so anyway so I, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine so um the t8 shorts just to go ahead and off the bat and tell you are amazing um and kind of as a bonus during this uh review and um comparison uh, i'll just talk about the t8 shirts which i recently uh, just got as well um so the first it's it's interesting the the t8 shorts are car, called the sherpa shorts uh, I have the Brooks Sherpa shorts. Um, the Brooks, specifically, I have two pair of five inch and a pair of seven inch Sherpa shorts. And then I have the Rabbit Shredders. And um, to go over the prices real quick before I forget to mention it, uh, the Rabbit Shredders are $80 right now. Um, the Brooks Sherpa shorts were originally $68, but I just found them online for $44. So I think that's a great deal. Um, and the, the TH shorts, I'm going to get to them last, but they, they're unique because they have a, they don't have their, they have a separate liner. So you, you buy the shorts and then you buy the liner separately. Um, so the shorts themselves are $68 and then the liner um, is $21. I am historically somebody who buys not cheap stuff, but anything that's, uh, if I find, see something, I normally wait until like a year later and buy it on sale. Um, I'm not somebody who, I feel like, well, if I can wait and get it, get the same product, like, okay, the next year they have something new, but last year this was the biggest and best thing. So I'd rather wait and get a big discount. Um, but um, the Sherpa shorts, I, I'm telling you, are worth just going out and buying right away um, and not waiting. Um, and they're a small company and a newer company, so I'm not sure what their window is and how, how they iterate and how long it would be until they went on sale. But uh, let's start with the rabbit shorts. I got these rabbit shorts. These rabbit shorts are kind of heavy. Um, they have a liner. Um, it's more like a, the thickness would be something like if you've got running tights. Um, so obviously they, they come down to about the knee, um, and they're, they're thicker, um, uh, the, the, the liner. Uh, but I got these rabbit shorts because first, uh, I, I, I've been running a lot and I've been carrying a pack and, um, I tend to get sore shoulders. So I've been trying to get weight off of my shoulders and into um, like a waistband or into shorts that have built-in uh, stash pockets. Um, 
also part of that was I've been, I've been running with poles, so I um, was also trying to, I, I normally stick them in uh, the quiver, the Solomon quiver. Um, so I, I was also trying to get those off my back just to, so my shoulders wouldn't be a sore. Um, so these have um, a place to put your, your poles. So I got these and for, so unfortunately it didn't work out because they are good, um, but for, for shorter runs. And, and this might not be an issue for everyone. Um, but the issue for me is, you see how it's got the, it's got, on the front it's got a, it's got the drawstring and it's got, you know, the two stash pockets in the front. Um, and then two smaller ones on the sides and then a zip pocket in the back. I think my phone, I'm pretty sure my phone fits in there as well. But because of these stash pockets on the inside, there's a seam right here that goes right across the front of you. And it hits me in exactly the wrong place. And what happens is I chafe really badly in these shorts, um, right in the sensitive area. Um, I don't know if, if people wear them higher than the way I wear them, um, or if it's just my anatomy, but I was really disappointed about that. Um, so I, like I said, I will wear these. Um, I'll tend to wear them like maybe 15 would be the furthest I would go, but maybe mostly 10 or less. And these are definitely for me a um a winter short like i can't wear these in the summer i wore these um at pike's peak um we in the hat um last august and um they got drenched in sweat they got really heavy they didn't slide down um and i had <laughs> the, the worst chafing i've ever had um in that area not you know like in on your thighs and stuff like that everything else was fine um, but I've got some race photos of the front of my shirt just bloody um, from the chafing. Um, so I, I know that's not the best review, but if you if you think that you want the pole to carry the poles and you, and you need something that's for a little bit colder weather and you want to give it a shot, I, I have a feeling. I mean, they're you know they tested these on. You know, I'm sure they did a lot of testing on these, and so I'm sure it's not going to be an issue for everyone. Um, like I said, other than chafing issue, I really like these shorts. Um, but for winter and um, and if I didn't have the chafing issue, I would wear them on longer runs. But um, they're definitely not something I would wear in the summer. So, um, like I said, those were eighty dollars. Um, now, the Brooks, they are a little bit different. Um, both the uh, rabbit shredders and the Sherpa, the TH Sherpas, they have pockets that go all the way around. Um, you've got like either one big pocket or two big pockets at the front, some side pockets and one in the back. Um, this one, there's nothing in the front. There's, um, on each side, uh, one, it's like, it's like one big pocket, but it's got a little, um, stitch here so that the whole thing doesn't flop open and then like I was mentioning uh, before it's got a pocket that's right on the it's on your right leg and uh, I'll show you it, it's deep it's really deep oh you can see it on the inside uh, so you can fit your phone it's very stretchy and I haven't had any problems with like my my the phone like slapping against my leg um, it's it's been um, it stays pretty close um, and these, these shorts are really comfortable. I, I love these shorts. Um, I don't have any issues with these. Um, they're, um, they're, they're a little warm. I mean, warm, I guess, relatively <laughs> compared. So the issue is I don't have any problems with these at all. I love these shorts. I would wear them at any time. <laughs> the, the, the issue is the TA shorts are so much better. Um, and so, but for price, like I said, I found these for $44 and, 
if you just want a couple of pair of shorts to go and do some ultras in and and i've run ultras in these um and they've been great and so i think for the price this is probably the best deal um but the t8 shorts are game changers and i don't know why it took somebody so long to come up with this kind of system um they're from the company is from hong kong and they so they have really really hot temperatures and so they have these the liners are separate and they're called commandos and the commandos uh, i think i mentioned 21 dollars and they are super thin um let me grab a light real quick like they're super thin they you can see right through so not something you're gonna wear <laughs> by themselves but they are super thin and um it, it, i would i would compare it to like uh nylons um it's it when you put them on it's like you're not wearing anything like literally like you can't really even you can't even tell you have them on um um so now the opposite problem with this is uh, with the rabbit shorts is i tried to wear these liners and the shorts on a colder run and they no it's too cold <laughs> these don't protect you from any sort of uh, cold temperatures but so with these uh, you pair those with um, the T, oh, yeah, the TH Sherpa shorts, and the Sherpa shorts. So on the back, they have um, just one pocket, and it has a pull um, to help you find it. And my phone will fit in here. Um, I can't really fit it in with the case, but if I take the case off, it'll fit in there. And again, it it presses like up against your back. It's not in an irritating way, but it doesn't like flop around. Um, and then on the sides, make sure I got the sides here. Yeah, on the sides, there's um, big pockets, and I can stick, um, you can stick four or five gels in each pocket on each side. Um, and then the front, it also has a, a big pocket. Um, I can put gels and stuff in there. Um, if you had a small, if you have a small water bottle, I think I have a 12 ounce water bottle, a soft flask will fit in there. Um, but like I don't like a 17 ounce or 500 milliliter doesn't really fit in there. Uh, I mean you could, but it'd be it'd be kind of a pain in the neck to get it in and get it out of there. Um, but these shorts, I don't know what this material is. It's uh, it's very light, um, and but when it gets wet, it doesn't like weight it doesn't get weighed down and it doesn't get sticky like it doesn't like like a lot of, you know you're running traditional running shorts or a shirt or anything you sweat and it like sticks to your body um this doesn't like I, i'm telling you these are these are amazing between these and and the the liners you wear them and you can't you cannot tell you're wearing anything um it just you know it, it almost feels like it almost feels like if you we're just wearing a long t-shirt. You know how like, if you wear like a long shirt, you can kind of feel it brushing against your legs, but it's not really like on you. It's just kind of, it's on the top of your body and, but not touching the butt. So that's kind of what it feels like. It, it feels like you're just wearing a long shirt and that's it. It's, it's, it's very comfortable. It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of something you have to get used to because you're like, wow, it feels, you know, am I wearing short, like, am I wearing shorts? Am I wearing like running shorts? Um, that's how light and how comfortable these are. So the combined 68 and 21 is pretty pricey for what I'm used to, but I'm telling you, it's, it's really worth it. And uh, I don't know if some, some of you may have seen in one of my um, race videos, um, because these don't have their own liner, I can wear running tights and then put these over them. Um, and because they're made for a separate liner, they're, you wouldn't tell it, like just rubbing your hand on this, but they're grippy on like something like tights. So you can slide these over tights um, and then you can still use the pockets and they don't slip down. I, I did a race South Mountains 50K in January and I wore these because um, I wanted something a little bit warmer, but because they're not made for a separate liner, they just kind of, I had to keep pulling them up and I had to keep cinching down the, the drawstring um, because they kept sliding down on the tights. So, um, 
So I would totally recommend. I would recommend all of these, these shorts. Um, just watch out for the rabbit stuff, the rabbit um, scene there. Um, but I definitely, if if you have the money and you just want to spend spend the money once, um, I would go with the T8 uh, shorts. Uh, I also recently ordered this one. I haven't worn this one yet, but I've got two of these. Um, these um, these are called iced tea, <laughs> and uh, again, really worth it. The um, so I'm a little bit of I'm a bigger runner. Uh, I'm I'm only five seven, but I'm like 180 pounds. Um, so I'm bigger like in the shoulders, and unfortunately right now in the, in the stomach because I've got to lose some weight. But in the shoulders and the arms, so you can kind of tell. I'm not trying to flex here, but you can kind of tell for me. This is an extra large, and, and this is a large. Um, they, even, even uh, the arms are kind of tight. They're not uncomfortably tight, but I kind of feel like I'm like a, a macho man, like, you know, just wearing a tight shirt. Um, they're not tight anywhere else. Um, but just the, in, in the, like the biceps and the shoulders are a little bit tight for me. But the, um, again, these are, if I can show you with this, if this is a good demonstration or not, but yeah, again, these are, uh, I probably have some other footage of this, but yeah, you can see right through these the um the side it's got a panel on the side and that is almost like the um commando uh, material it's a little uh i guess silkier would be the 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 term the term and you can see right through it um and this i think this is just a different material oh this is uh in fact i wanted to mention this this is a um a, a company called well, it's T8 shirt, but I think that there's a company, I don't know if it's a company of one of their technologies, it's called uh, 37.5, um, uh, and it's a, a special material that helps um, to wick away the moisture. It, it says, captures and releases moisture vapor, helping you zone in on a personal microclimate of ideal comfort. And I, I <laughs> sounds like marketing, but um, it, I would, these are really comfortable too. These stay dry, they don't stick to you. Um, so I would recommend these as well. So anyway, I, was hope, I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, I don't, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, I just try to do like reviews on stuff that I really, really like. You know, like I did the Ultra Mont Blancs, which I really like. Um, but, and it's also, this is a newer company, so I think, uh, in my own interest, it's like, I want people to start buying this stuff so the company, like, sticks around for a while. Um, the buying experience is a little weird because they are from Hong Kong, so the, the website is all in English, um, but there's, like, this weird flip-flop in the middle of the whole transaction process. The, the prices are listed in, um, American dollars, and then... You kind of go to your cart and it flips to Hong Kong dollars in the middle and then it flips back to US dollars. Um, so, and I think when you get your receipt, it's in Hong Kong dollars or, you know, your email. So, you know, it looks like you spent $700 on a pair of shorts, but but you're not paying $700. Um, so that's, that's just a, like a quirk in the buying experience. But um, but it was, it was it's not, not, not an issue. It's just kind of something like, you know, is this company for real? Like, am I going to get these shorts? And, um, yeah, the first order of shorts I did, like, right before Christmas, um, they took a little while to get, but I since ordered another pair of shorts and commandos, and I also recently ordered the, the shirts, and those took less than a week to get from Hong Kong. So, so um, good company, um, good uh, buying experience, and great shorts and shirts. So, um that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you could uh, maybe give me a like or, or subs uh, subscribe, uh, that'd be great. I think I mentioned in my last video of eight subscribers, so I'm not like raking in the dough from any of this. I just I, I just think it's exciting and fun to to start doing this. Um, I started doing this at the beginning of the year, and um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I um, just hope that other people are appreciating it. So if you do, just let me know. All right, thank you so much. Bye.